Hello all! Today I'm going to put the two charge controllers into the two enclosures. I've been gathering together a few bits um, for today's project. Got some uh, single pieces of chalky block there. Got some uh, cable ties which I'm going to cut up and just use as a P-clip which I'll attach to the that mounting point. So my two solar wires. Oh I've got my solar wires. I've cut uh, four one meter lengths of four millimeter squared solar cable. I've got MC4s in a box on the floor. So I think I'm ready to go. I've even brought my drill and drill bits in. Right, first things first, I want to drill some holes in here and I need two three millimeter holes. So I fitted my three millimeter bit uh, for red and black, which are gonna come out here. And then a couple of bigger holes for the solar cable which I want to try and line up so that I can use that mounting point as a P-clip, which I'm going to cut a bit of that off to make, um, onto that mounting point. So now this doesn't have to be terribly precise, but I just want them at the front here. So let's go there. And there. Okay, that's good enough. Um, now these aren't a tight fit around these wires. They're a loose fit. The point with these enclosures is that they they effectively breathe through these holes because when they warm up, they will push air out of these holes and therefore any water that's accumulated at the bottom. When these enclosures cool down, they'll suck up through the holes. But of course, because no moisture can sort of sit below this, they won't suck anything in. So they're all the, the warming up and cooling down will always act to pump any water out. There will be a, a high humidity in here. There'll be a film of moisture behind this front cover. You can see that on the one that's outside. In fact, why don't we have a look at that? So yeah, I've got some sun on the panels today. So uh, this one's actually doing something. But yes, you can see that film of moisture and it is on the inside. I can't wipe it away. The controller's entirely happy there. Uh, that says 13.2, I think. Just have another look at that. One, two, three. One, two. Yeah, that was higher earlier. Perhaps the uh, sky has gone a little bit um, cloudy. But uh, you should better see at the bottom there of the enclosure, there's absolutely no built up moisture because, as I say, it will always get pumped out. So this enclosure works with the solar charge controller really not protected in any way other than by the enclosure. And yes, those screws have gone rusty um, and I will probably try and replace them with brass at some point. And now the six millimeter holes, just got to get these about right. So I'm thinking about there. Oh, that's not very sharp, is it? <laughs> yeah, my six mil drill's a bit blunt. I'll carry on. I uh, found another six mil wood drill, so let's give that one a try. The other one was a bit rusty, so maybe it's gone dull. And we're through. Uh, let's do t'other one, which will be about there. What did I hit? Don't know. But anyway, that's my four holes drilled. They look good. Right, next thing, uh, get rid of all that mess. I want to cut a bit of cable tie off. Now, I seem to remember the distance between the two holes, and I think they were two millimeter holes, uh, was an inch and a quarter, <laughs> mixing my units here, but I've got a feeling that's what I did. I'll give it a try. Right, let's give this a try. I'll cut the end of a cable tie off. Um, I've made two marks an inch and a quarter apart. That looks pretty wide, actually. Mm. So we'll give that a try, put two marks on there. Yeah, that looks very wide. Maybe it was an inch. 
Yeah, it does look too wide actually if I wrap that. Oh, that shot across the room. <laughs> yeah, if I wrap that round there, then my markings are way away. Yeah, I think I'll try an inch because um, I want it a bit tighter so that that really grips um, the wire when it sits in there. And then I can put my um, bit of chocolate block on there, which will be the connection points for the yellow and black wires. So maybe I'll remark this with the holes an inch apart. So that's been remarked. I'll cut this down to that smaller size, drill two holes in here, and then that will act as my cable clamp. Drill the holes. And the other one. Okay, let's find a screw and give that a try. Right, these screws are my sort of universal small size screws. Uh, they should go into these pillars, so let's give that a try. Now, a mistake I made last time, um, this sits over the battery and the wires coming down from the solar panel are on the left. So I want to put my solar cable so that the curl runs out to the left. And I didn't do that last time, I can't remember what I did. I think one went one way and one went the other, which wasn't really the correct thing to do. So let's do this where it all goes to the left. Right, first thing I've got to do is strip this. I think that's going to have to be done with a knife because it's pretty massive cable. So I only need to strip a quarter of an inch, maybe uh, three eighths. Yes, I can remember my old imperial fractions. So let's bias this to the left, like so. Uh, put my chalky block on, uh, making sure there's enough room for the yellow wire in the top. Yes, I think there is. Okay, that can go in there. Where's my screwdriver? I uh, didn't feed it through the hole, did I? So I'll have to do that now. Feed that through the hole. Feed it all the way through. And now my P-clip, which is here, wraps around the black cable and a screw goes in there. That's going to be hard to do on camera. So there's one cable in and clamped. You can turn it a little bit, but it's clamped reasonably well. Cable bias to the left. I probably should have drilled that slightly further in. Um, I've done it a bit close to the edge there, but it's good enough as long as the charge controller can sit here. It kind of, on the other one, it's sitting quite far forward almost, I think actually it is touching the front uh, translucent plastic. Anyway, I'll get the next cable in, clamped, and uh, come back when that's done. Right, with the soldering iron, I'm going to remove these spade terminals because I no longer need those, because I'm going for 8mm ring terminals to connect to the Trojan batteries, which are outside. Let's just clean that up. Uh, temporarily I will do a test of this using my little pack of Enna loops. Where is it? There it is. Just to make sure that uh, we've still not got a problem with pos and neg being fed by a big battery. Um, I'm also just going to put a cable tie on the black and yellow there because as these come round I don't want to stress these connection points so I'm going to tie these together just so that doesn't happen. These are okay because they're going to go down into two holes in the case, so they're kind of held anyway. So here's the first one. Uh, it doesn't have any connectors on either the uh, solar connectors or the battery connectors yet. Um, I'm going to run the black and yellows right round in a full loop because of the funny angle I've got these uh, connector blocks at because I drilled these a little bit too wide, really. Uh, also. I quite like the idea of keeping uh, the length on there. I didn't on the other one, on the one that's outside already. They're very short, but I'll keep the full length on these. And then the yellow comes round and can go into that block. I think I'll put yellow on this side on the other one. So I'll do that on these as well. It doesn't really matter too much because I can always change the polarity of the MC4s on these, but I'll stick to some sort of consistent standard. Um, so that one's just sort of going to sit on the floor 
and while I do the second one which I haven't really started on yet I've just drilled the holes so let's get that one done okay the lights going a bit so I'll end it here and I haven't put the yellow and black wires into these choppy blocks yet I just want to let these kind of form their shape probably overnight um, now the next video if I make it um, let me know if you want me to make this all it is is really putting the um, MC4s on the end of here soldering the ring terminals on the end of here and then taking these out and installing them um, I'll make that video if you'd like to see it but uh, for the moment cheerio